Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is God is humbling and redeeming your spouse. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, some of you may have seen my video concerning your spouse going through a season of judgment, and some of them may still be going through that season of judgment, or maybe some of them are coming out of it, okay? But wherever you are on this um, spectrum of the situation, your spouse is going to have to go through a humbling and a season of judgment because many of them they're going back and forth, they're wrestling, and God has given them enough time to make a decision. God has given them enough time to figure out, is this where I wanna be? Should I go here? Should I stay here? Should I propose? Should I go back to my wife? Should I move out of the state? You know, God has given them plenty of time to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, okay? And so the Lord is saying, I'm gonna to have to knock your spouse off of their high horse, okay? This is kind of like part two of the humbling, but also God is saying, I am redeeming them as well. Some of them are coming out of that humbling season. And so, you know, what led me to do this word is because in my quiet time with the Lord, God led me to numbers 1116 and in the strong's hebrews concordance it means high places and so when i saw high places i heard the spirit of god say that these spouses are being knocked off of their high horse okay because some of them think they have all this time some of them think that you know they're just going to stay stagnant they're just going to continue to do what they're doing and this is for their good okay this is not something that god is doing to punish them and maybe sometimes it may be a form of punishment you know however the lord is dealing with your spouse it could be different from the next person's spouse you know but we all as i've said before have gone through a season of judgment we have gone through a, a humbling season where god had to sit us down or maybe knock us off of our high horse because we were going in a direction that was not um ordained by god and also some people they they think they're untouchable they think that god is not going to correct them you know as it concerns certain things and like i like i've always been saying it's not like your spouse does not know what they're supposed to do many of them are just just taking their sweet time thinking that they can just you know kind of kind of lollygag with the counterfeit or lollygag with this whole like being afraid but god is wanting to push them into purpose god is wanting to push them into destiny hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus just like how god has pushed all of us into purpose and into destiny and we're still going through that process of transformation hallelujah thank you jesus and so god is just giving these spouses a jump start and you know when god knocks you off of your high horse my god today it ain't always pretty you know it don't always feel good but we can trust and believe that we gonna be okay so don't worry about your spouse they're gonna be okay god is gonna have to knock some sense into them god is gonna allow some things to happen okay god is gonna have to maybe take away something maybe put your spouse in a place where they're gonna need you or they're gonna have no choice but to move forward and they're gonna find that okay this is actually better for me hallelujah thank you jesus so although it's going to feel like oh man i got knocked off of my high horse man i got knocked off of you know what i thought i was going to do you know god is is course correcting them god is helping them to shift gears to shift into what he what god has been calling them to do this whole time hallelujah thank you jesus and so the scripture that the Lord has given me for our spouses being um, humbled and then redeemed is um, Leviticus chapter 26 in verses 30. And it reads, I will destroy your high places, cut down your incense altars and pow your dead bodies on the lifeless forms of your idols. And I will abhor you. So God is like, I'm going to knock them off of their high horses. I'm going to tear down those false idols, those idols of, you know, maybe your spouse is idolizing their job because they feel like, oh, I make a whole lot of money here. So I don't want to leave <clears throat> this job, you know, although that job could be the very thing making them stagnant from moving forward and what God has called them to do. You know, maybe they're thinking, oh, I'm going to continue this hobby. Oh, I'm going to continue to live in this place, to live in this city, whatever it is, you know, what whatever is feeding your spouse's flesh and causing them to feel like oh you know what i'm, I'm gonna stay doing this because like you know this is this is good it feel good to my flesh god is like no ma'am no ma'am i'm gonna knock you off of your high horse okay and i'm gonna show you that 
you're going to have to submit. You're going to have to do what God has been calling you to do, okay? And also it says, um, um, empower your dead bodies on the lifeless forms of, of your idols. <laughs> so God is like, yeah, these idols is coming down. Whatever you thought was going to be, how it was going to be, no ma'am, knocking you off of your high places, okay? And this is, as I've been saying, this is kind of like in a flow of all my other messages. And God is just reiterating this is what's happening. But now God is saying, I, I'm still going to redeem them, although I'm going to knock them off of their high horse, although they're in a humbling season, although they're in a season of judgment. God is saying, I'm still going to redeem them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so after this season of um, knocking them off of their high horses done after this whole, you know, punishment or whatever you want to call it concerning God dealing with your spouse after this season is done, God is saying they will be redeemed. They will be renewed. They will be refreshed and they will be on the right track because God is going to course correct them. God is going to lay out all of the, the the foundation god is going to lay out the directions and like you know it'll it'll be like a map of what they're supposed to do and they're going to begin to follow these instructions as led by the holy spirit and they're going to see clearly what god has been saying because god would have knocked them off of their high horse hallelujah thank you jesus and so after this redemption happens this is what the lord has given me for um in Leviticus chapter 26 verses 40 through 42 and it reads but if they will confess their sins and the sins of their ancestors their unfaithfulness and their hostility toward me which had made me hostile toward them so that I sent them into the land of their enemies then when their uncircumcised hearts are humbled and they pay for their sin I will remember my covenant with Jacob and my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham him and I will remember the land hallelujah thank you Jesus so God is saying you know your spouse is going to confess their sins they're going to realize their wrongdoings they're going to understand where they went wrong they're going to have a course correction and they're going to continue on the path that God has been calling them to hallelujah glory to God thank you Jesus and many of you are going to begin to see this in the month of March or maybe in the spring season hallelujah thank you Jesus glory and so um, God is saying and confirming like yes they will confess their sins Yes, they will change their hearts. Okay, God is circumcising their hearts and humbling them. And, you know, after all of this is said and done, God is saying, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless them. I'm going to bless the two of you together. We just have to get these spouses on one accord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, you know, we can rest in knowing that your spouse is not going to continue to go down the wrong path forever. But trust me, I understand it's frustrating. It can be irritating. And sometimes it's like, God, it seems like this person is so headstrong on what they're doing and some of you are like god my spouse is so headstrong on this job on this location on this like situation and it's hard to change their mind it's hard to get them to see but that's why it's so important to take every concern to the lord in prayer because it's god who is going to show our spouses and show us what's what's the right path and it's god who is going to be the one to ultimately correct them especially if you're a man standing for, i mean especially if you're a woman standing for a prodigal man because you know you can't be naggy like that because they're not going to listen to you now i'm not saying it's any easier if they're if it's a prodigal woman because you still gotta tread lightly as it concerns a prodigal woman but you know i'm just saying women you know we can't be nagging and you know forcing them to do things and trying to argue with them and all this and all that now don't do that to the women either don't do that to the prodigal women either because that's not going to help either but you know i just feel like it's worse when you know men are just you know <laughs> they they so strong-minded and and, and they sure of what they gonna do and ain't no change in their mind and it's the whole alpha male crap going on but you know some some women they have a hard time too like changing their mind i feel like women for the most part i know it's not for all women you know they're more understanding when you come to them with a concern but trust me i understand that some women you ain't gonna be able to change their mind they strong-headed they bull-headed too so you know i'm not trying to sound biased but we just have to take every concern to the Lord. When our spouse or whoever does not receive us the right way, it's okay to raise concerns. It's okay to bring up things and suggest things, but don't force, don't argue about it. It's God who's going to be the one to change their hearts, to knock them off of their high, high horse and course correct them 
and God is going to redeem them so that the two of you can be on the right track. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So if you feel led to sow into this word, I will leave the information in the description and in the comment section below. And if you have already sown thus far, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I pray that the Lord increases your seed a thousandfold in the mighty name of Jesus. And also, if you would like to sow into this word, um, put in the comment section, my spouse is being knocked off of their high horse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And even if you don't so, put in the comment section, my spouse is being knocked off of their high horse or whatever you want to say. You can say anything that pertains to this message. Just put a prophetic declaration in the comment section of this video or in the comment section of your seed when you sow a seed to let the atmosphere know, let the devil know, let me know, let yourself know, let your, let your spouse know what God is doing. And we are putting it out there because we are believing that God is changing their minds and changing their hearts. And I don't want none of you to get discouraged don't get discouraged y'all hang in there y'all we gotta you know keep praying for each other keep holding each other up you guys keep fasting y'all we are in the home stretch don't get discouraged please 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 hang in there hang in there i love y'all and i'm still praying for y'all i'm still standing as well hallelujah thank you jesus glory you know there are many testimonies and people who have seen movement in their situations and, and reconciliation and god is doing a great work so don't count yourself out because it's still going to happen for you hallelujah thank you jesus but um, if you would like to have a coaching session with me or a non-clinical counseling session, I will leave my booking site in the description of this video and the comment section of this video. So I do one hour coaching, 30 minute coaching, two hour coaching, and I do couples counseling. So when you book, make sure you switch to your time zone so that we can, um, you know, be in the same, you know, meet at the right time, you know, because there's a lot of confusion sometimes as it concerns getting that time zone situation correct. But let's say if you go on the website and you cannot afford what you see for the payment option, send me an email at propheticmarriage at gmail.com so that I can send you an invoice for afterpay if it's available in your country because afterpay is not available in every country, unfortunately. But if you know what afterpay is, you already know how it works. Um, it breaks it up into four payments. It's a $5 upcharge for afterpay though, but you only have to make the first payment out of the four payments to have the session. And then you already know the remaining three payments come out of your account every two weeks automatically. But yes, you guys like this video. If it has resonated with you, share it with a friend if you feel like it will help them. Subscribe if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.